Ladies and gentlemen, the king of moths and butterflies on social media, Bart Coppens, is back with a really beautiful species of butterfly from America. As you can see, it is affiliated with the old world swallowtail and that group of butterflies. Of which I've made several videos, but this is one I haven't filmed before, so what is it? This is Papilio brevicaudata, and let me tell you some facts about this awesome species. This is one of my favorite swallowtail butterflies. The black and yellow is incredibly beautiful, if you ask me. It is found in a region of Canada called the Maritimes. It flies on the coastal marshes, dunes and heathlands where the host plant Scots Lovage grows. Let's talk about the Maritime provinces first. It's a region of Eastern Canada consisting of three provinces. New Brunswick, Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. Personally I would love to visit them someday and film butterflies for you there. But this butterfly is not found in all of these places. This is Papilio brevicaudata or the short-tailed swallowtail. And it's mostly found in the coastal area of New Brunswick and northern Cape Breton Island. The habitat consists of grasslands, bogs and Heathlands. So why do the butterflies in my videos never fly away? Are they that comfortable with me? The magic trick is I only handle butterflies that just came out of the pupa. This one is drying its wings so it cannot fly yet. In a few hours it will be able to fly and then I would not take it outside. It's a magic trick that I perform and that's how I make the close-ups of all the species in these videos. Without them ever escaping. The host plant are various members of the carrot family, or the Apiacea, but in particular Scots Lovage, or Ligusticum scotium, is what it uses along the coast, and it also uses cow parsnip, or Heraclea maximum, inland. I hope you're having fun learning about this magical creature. I'm really happy that all of you are watching my channel. I put a lot of passion and love in it. Let's give you some more facts about this beauty. Wow! The larvae are similar to those of the black swallowtail, and they appear to use various members of the carrot family or the apiacea, but particularly scotch lovage, Lycosticum scoticum, along the coast, and cow parsnip or Heraclea maximum inland. But also a species of Angelica. Reportedly, it is a strong flyer because it flies near coastal areas. It can have stronger winds. It is genetically and morphologically closely related to the old world swallowtail or Papilio macaon. Interestingly, they can fly in conjunction with the black swallowtail, Papilio polyxenus, in some parts of their range. Some sources mention that in rare cases they can even form natural hybrids. If you're wondering what such a hybrid looks like, I made one for you. This is a hybrid. And I will show you close-ups of this one too. This is a hybrid between Papilio polyxenis and Brevi caudata. Now that looks very unusual, doesn't it? I have personally not often seen a specimen that looks this intense. That is just a first to me. Have you ever seen a hybrid butterfly yourself? If so, leave a comment. That was my video about the short-tailed swallowtail. Maybe one day I'll have the free time and space to film the life cycle from egg to butterfly. But not today. Consider supporting my demonetized channel and maybe one day it will happen. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more video about butterflies and moths, you better subscribe to this channel. And consider joining my Patreon since this channel is permanently demonetized by YouTube. I don't make any money from all the videos that I made apart from what people donate. See you in the next video.